Hello, Mark and Tights TV. Uh, it's for this training today because everybody else is bugger off down south early to make it a bit of a you know a drinking session and it bit sounds in it. So uh Andy in Bread Corner in the top corner. We've got James. Uh James, thanks for taking your time out. You know, it's a busy schedule we you know work and getting all prepared and back for a certain final coming up. I don't know if anybody knew about it, but uh yeah, Andy, uh an ad season, uh all coming down to potentially 90 minutes, could be a bit longer, you know. Yeah. Big, big final coming up on Monday. It, I'm still, I think nerves are hitting now, to be honest. Mm. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a nervy one, isn't it? Um, I, I just thought we um, coming back um, with something to celebrate. Um, it, it, I don't know, it, I just can't put it into words how uh, nervous it's going to be now, um, especially with, um, you know, what's happened with, like, that ticket allocation with um, Chef Wednesday lot um, as well. Um, no, it, it, yeah. I, I just want it now to be a, on Monday. I'm working tomorrow and Sunday. Um, so, yeah, uh, next two days for me at work is going to be... Um, be like huge and uh, probably two longest days I've ever known. But yeah, I, ju I just want to hear now. It's it's just like waiting. I want to say waiting to be young, but probably like waiting in dentist changing room. Now nah, you just want it over and done with. And oh, you know we, we know where we stand now, don't we? You know <laughs> after Monday. Is it as bad as that, Andy? Yeah, uh, it, I... is. it is. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. I, I just I just want to hear now. Uh, alt talk out of way. Let's 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 batter them and uh, let's get uh, let's get into championship. That, that's uh, where I look at it now. Back in the championship. I'm glad you brought the ticket allocation up. I'm going to come into that a bit later on. My thoughts on it. Uh, yeah. There's been a lot been made about it with, on Twitter and social media. But like James is following up from what Andy's saying. You know, it's you know. Waiting to be hung, you know, it's waiting like a dentist chair. I think everybody's getting, you know, they've got the tickets for it's it's for waiting game like now for both sides. It's a, it's you know, no two ways about it, uh, for both us and Sheffield. Um, a culmination of things, you know, we a lot of people say, Yeah, we've done them in the league twice and we can go for treble, but cup final's gonna be different, James, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I've I've been nervous all week because you've got such a long gap between the playoff game against Bolton mm. and the playoff final, you, you, you're just thinking like what, what could be. But yeah, in a, in a one-off game, anything can happen. So um, I think Wednesday will be fired up, especially um, with how they come back against Peterborough. So, but I mean, we're more than capable if on, on our day, like we've proven we can beat them, but it's, it's still, we've, we've got, we've got to be on our A game to get a result. Do you think, James, that Michael Duffel... And not, not played down, but no importance at game. But I think both I've heard both managers talk on you know local radio, and they both speak either one another, both respect one another for what they've done with you know finances and resources, what we've had, you know, with backroom staff. We know what's happened with both boards at uh, us and Sheffield, both of the issues. But do you think that Duff will be what can I say, it'd be more aligned and switched on and be well prepared, you know, with his backroom staff going into this and let, and let every, I call before at least spread out and said, this is the structure, you know, don't throw that ad long season away. This is what, this is what it's all about now, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've come this far now and you don't get, you don't get to a final in this far of the season and not just turn up and it's not really a day out. You want to, you want to go there and give everything you've got. I mean, we have shown we can compete and, um, against some of the top sides, some of the, some of the performance, some of the pressing for some of the players has been brilliant. Mm. Um, I think he's going to have a game plan and hopefully the players stick to it. And we just want to give, give everything we've got, but it's still still been quite nerve-wracking for quite a while now. Yeah, nerve-wracking, I think, like what Andy said earlier, and all, we, we game before Bolton game, you know, we had last teams, or yeah, last teams to do their playoffs because it's um, Championship League One playoff for us. And then, us to get up into championship kind of thing, so a bit of weirding, but it's a bank holiday football 
uh, feast for us all football fans. And he's good. And I mean, I'm coming back to what Andy said. There's been a lot said. I mean, when ticket allocation, this is my tech, and I'll, I'll you know, I'll happily talk to both you and uh, Andy and right, uh, Andy and James on this. Is that when the initial ticket allocation got announced, we got a bit more than Sheffield Wednesday and it, Twitter went into meltdown, you know, attendance FC and it was going barmy and thinking, yeah, but, you know, there's still a full week to go ahead here, like, don't get too far in front and like bragging rights just before even balls been kicked. Now, my take on this is that, yeah, the club, Barnsley FC tried to block the 6,000 tickets to Sheffield Wednesday. The FL overruled it, they said we've got enough security, blah, 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 and everything like that. So that's out of club's hands. My take on it is, is that a lot of fans, I think, need to realise is that we are a town and not a city. Yeah. I mean, Sheffield Wednesday have got, you know, if if you look at the comparisons of a population, you look at Sheffield and we've got two clubs here. And we're both two well-backed clubs, if, I'm, if we're being honest about it. And I think... If we were in a city and we had a bigger population, then we'd be obviously taking more. So I think before people like saying, yeah, but we're taking six out, you know, fair enough, the club tried all the could, Barnsley tried all the could, but our I look at it is that it could be potentially 6,000 more fans going home unhappy and we've out them and out, you know, out clapped them, out cheered them, on, on, you know, on, in the stands. So for me, that, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. If we if we were a bigger population, you know, uh, county, I think we've got three hundred forty thousand people. If we were like seven hundred odd, like Sheffield, then obviously you're going to you're going to sell more tickets. So I don't know what your guys think about that. I've said exactly the same to Maddie um, when, um, like you've just said about Twitter um, and you know other fans um, and other team, uh, well saying, you know, we get bigger attendances. And I said exactly the same to Maddie. Um, it's a city and we're a town. It's it's not rocket science. Mm-hmm. And that's what I said. The, the only thing that um, what I'm a little bit worried about is the safety of fans. Um, you know, uh, are they going to be uh, correctly um, steward? Um Away from Barnsley fans, that, that that's my main concern. Um, but yeah, I, I've said exactly the same, and it, it's just common sense. Um, but yeah, you, you get these uh, fans who don't seem to realise that, and end it there. Like like you've just said, um, we're a town. We're, we're not a big city like Sheffield. Uh, end it there. But I'd, love it, it, I'd, I'd love it no more, me even to take like thirty, forty thousand down all day. Yeah. But yeah. if you got to think about it realistically, you know what I mean? You look at that. I mean, yeah. James, I, I mean, Andy just said there, you know, he, he kind of agrees with, you know, with population and stuff like that. And for safety and security, as far as I'm being told, is that Wembley have got it all sussed. We've got it enough stewards in that area. We understand with, you know, with blocks in the situation. So, you know, it's, we know it's a key important game. And again, I'll come to you on this, James, is that, no disrespect, but if we were playing someone like a Rotherham or a Doncaster Rovers in the final, it's probably more or less evenly matched for attendance. So, again, you've got to t- you've got to be realistic about it in in kind of numbers what's being bantered about for ticket allocation, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Sheffield's a city, so they're going to they're bound to get more people. Um, the same as we're a town, like Rotherham's a town. It's it's just common sense. It's just not going to. I, I still think the support we're, we're taking is actually quite decent for, mm-hmm. for the size of the town. Yeah, we're yeah. supported quite well. Like, I agree. Yeah, um, I agree. And, and a lot of people like look beyond that. Um, but for a town, you compare, compare us to like other sizes of places and there's actually quite a decent amount that still go to equal. So. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I look at, you know, back in 2016, if we make an atmosphere like that, you know, against Millwall, I'm wow. all day long, me. You know what I mean? It that was, was brilliant. That was yeah. amazing, amazing experience. Yeah, if we can create that again, I'll take that all day long, me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so just going back to uh, game, obviously, uh, that was just his tech on attendances and stuff like that with ticket allocation. So, I mean, coming back to you, uh, Andy, what I believe is that the uh, team have gone down uh, Friday afternoon about AF12. I just turned a bit of a wave off with the fans, which is fine. You know, I appreciate that. Uh, I just hope that we 
you know, we're waving them on way back at town hall kind of thing. But again, listening to what Duff said is that they're going down today, they're taking in the atmosphere, they're soaking up Wembley, they're getting the photos and the wild factor, I think, because a few of them were going to be there before. Saturday, Sunday, I believe they're going to be at Brentford training, um, you know, getting up to speed. And then Monday, the big day build up. So, again, getting back to Duff and his team, it's been well thought through, the process has been there. And it's not going to be, you know, players walking to Wembley Stadium and, oh, God, yeah, we're at Wembley and overall by it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, um, again, totally um, get it why they've set off now. Uh, makes sense. Um, and yeah, uh, it, it gives players the uh, best opportunity to uh, give it the all, uh, like you've just said, so they're not like uh, overall. Um, be different when all crowds are here, um, obviously, but yeah, um, I, I think it's a smart move on, on the club, um, especially with our young, um, our squad is as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, that waving them off as well today, I, I'll be honest, I forgot all about it, busy doing other things. Um, our working, so I can't Yeah, that. that's making it as well, um, you know, people's working and but you know, the, the the main thing is to celebrate when we're coming back and we've won game and we're a championship uh, side again. Um, that, that, that's where I want to be. Championship side again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, just going back to you, James on about young players. I've just been on about it, there, young players. Some will be, oh yeah, Wembley, and I like the analysis for Duff made about. Uh, too wired up, too fired up against the Gascoigne when he was like in 91, I believe, and he went in with tackle and it, he was too keyed up for it. And I think Duff is wanting to play that down. The important game, but obviously Wembley pitch, it's going to take it out on you. So you can't go full on because if, if I think if you go full on too early or for a long period, it's going to grind you down, isn't it? The fitness levels on that Wembley pitch is a massive pitch, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I think it's great they've gone down early, to be fair, because it gives them a chance to prepare in the best way possible, like get a feeling of the place as well. Um, mm. At least it's going to save on the legs as well, so they can get themselves in the right mindset. Um, I know he's done it before, he's travelled like early before, and it's probably helped the players as well, which is a good thing. Mm. Would you, I mean, yeah, I'll come to James on this, and I'll come back to Andy. So with, with line-ups, you know, we're down at Wembley, we're training, touch wood. Everything's good, you know. It's not been reported. There's been no injuries picked up. I think even Duff said that tongue in cheek. He's like miraculously everybody's fit for Wembley, kind of thing. Is it? Yeah. How I want to play at Wembley, isn't it? Uh, might be different if it were a cold winter's night, a game away at Plymouth, or something like that. Then it might be. Well, I'm not feeling too well, but at <laughs> Wembley, everybody wants to be here. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, James, starting lineup's going to be interesting. There's going to be some players thinking. Hmm, I might should be starting. What what's your take on starting eleven? Um, I think I think we should probably stick with Norwood and Cole up top. Um, because okay. I've I've really enjoyed watching Norwood with his pressing as well. It's been really good. Um, and last time we played Wednesday, he's been sort of fired up. Mm-hmm. Um, I have liked Tedich as well. Tedich has actually come on and done quite well because he surprised me. I didn't think he'd do that well, but mm. recently he has surprised me with his physicalness. Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing Cole and Norwood. Norwood did well when he came on against Bolton. Um, probably sort of stick with similar midfield. Connell's been brilliant, like absolutely superb. Um, yeah. So yeah, probably stick with the same, same sort of line as what we've had before. Like it's a, it's a strong side, and and maybe bring on Luke Luke Thomas later on for a bit of pace. Um, could be key as well to sort of wear him down a bit. Yeah, that could be key. That Luke Thomas coming on in second half, bit of pace on a an open pitch and might open play up for us if there's some tight legs on Sheffield side. Andy, yeah. uh, what's your take on starting 11? I'm, I'm in, in agreement with uh, James on this, like I think, you know, yeah. front two. On I, that. Pick, I picked beside me yesterday on um, the, you know, that fan hub um, app. Um, I, I've put me starting 11 already and I, I have put Norwood in mm. up front, we call. Um, to me, I think you've got to. Um, I personally think is more chance of knocking a goal in than what Tedich is. I mean, I, I think Tedich, uh, Tedich has done well, um, but 
I don't know. I think there's a little bit more to Norwood. I think uh, end products there with Norwood and plus Norwood and Cole, you know, they're playing more at season as well. So, yeah, um, I think that's all it changed. I might put Norwood up front with Cole. Norwood up front with Cole. Um, yeah, I'm in agreement with, with your kind of thing. I mean, Tedich, is it a game to be holding play up affecting others in? Big pitch, I don't know. It could be possibly later on in game. Where Tedich could come on to out ball up for such as it took Luke Thomas, like James has been on about here to run on to bit of pace, bit of trickery. Don't like you know players running it. You kind of think second half tired legs. Who knows? So yeah, I, I'll go with that. Uh, Max Watters and all another another striker who's who can put yeah. on a bat and bat. So yeah, at midfield it most picks itself for me. Uh, Luke Connell, what he just sound like to be a, and back. Yeah, all day long. Uh, Anderson Kitchen. And Bobby Thomas, yeah. I think I'd love to see you back next season. Um, I'll be well at championship as well, like we've been on about. This is going to be a good one, Ben. Score predictions, Andy. I'm gonna go for 2 1 for Reds. I've already made my mind up. Oh, that was decisive, yeah. Already made my mind up, mate. Wow, I was expecting, that. I was expecting a well, um, sleepless night. <laughs> 2, one, two <laughs> one in 90 minutes, yeah. Two one in ninety minutes. I'll take that. Yeah, take that. James, score prediction. I'm going to go for a three two win, and we're going to score in the last minute from James from um, Tedich or Super Sub Tedich gets in a header, and we all go mental. Hopefully, Ooh, three, two. I'll take that. Oh, no, nerve wracking, but it's been well worth it. Though well worth it. Yeah. That way of <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't want it to go to extra time. I don't want it to go to extra time because no. I think nerves will just be like on the knife edge if it is. Yeah. Um, but again, it's it's going to be a tough game. We haven't got to final both sides. You can see what Wednesday is against Peterborough. I've turned back. We did job away at Bolton. We held his own. We and did result back home. I'm going to go 2-1. I, I think the key for me is if, for us, on his corners and set pieces, I think that is key for us. If we can get Luca Connell delivering some decent corners in and crosses in, That'll be key for us. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a close game. Uh, I want to be coming back to South Yorkshire. Red side of South Yorkshire, happy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, key players. I mean, who do you think key players are going to be, both of you? Um, I'm going to go Mads, me. I just think Mads has got... Captain, I'm looking for... He has been, he's yeah. been solid, he's been beer. I think Mads is going to be... Key, I think he's got to show it up. I think he's got to really dictate it and let everybody understand. For me, yeah, and also I think fullbacks as well. Um, Williams and Cadden, and mm. like we've just said as well, it crosses. Mm. Um, so yeah, Mads at back definitely a key player. Um, Cadden, Williams, and also Herbie Kane as well. I think um, to you know, spine it. Spine, yeah. Side, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think they're key. Okay, James, so who's going to be key for you? Um, yeah, I can't argue that. I agree exactly the same. Um, I think Maz, Maz will be up for it as well. Hopefully, mm. if it's in a captain's performance. Um, I mean, the two games against Bolton, he was absolutely superb, really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. really looked solid. Um, looked assured. He looked like a top championship player as well. He would look real quality. You could tell the quality of it. And then the last mm. few games has been brilliant. Do you think with Mads being out injured, uh, do you think it did him well to have that bit of a rest to recharge and refocus? Do you think the important games coming when you work were in uh, playoffs, and like you just said, it, 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 it is against Bolton, all in a way, look, miles on it kind of thing, the play that we know. So I think that might have been a, a tactical injury kind of thing but I think it worked in our favour for that do you, do you agree on that? I agree definitely I think it yeah. gave him a chance to recharge his batteries get fresher mm. and um, be more motivated because he's, 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 he's into a lot of motivation at the moment so he's, his mindset's improved so much from when he you look how much he's improved oh, when he yeah. was first here he was lacking confidence he was making That's mistakes true. and there's, there's a player in there um, and then he's done some work on himself and he's completely changed. He's like a whole new player. It's like, it's, it's the, the improvement 
of Maz Anderson like, over the time he's been here is brilliant and massive credit to himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah vast, vast improvement. And uh, credit to like Duff as well, because I think we've been in that position and it's probably helped him out. And t- tell him some stuff, you know, what we need to wise to our few, not dark cats, but to be a bit more savvy switched on. So I think he's bought into that. And the players said, I mean, you can, it's, it's like that old saying, you can take an horse to water, you can't make it drink. So yeah. again, just giving him information and his background staff, to be fair, Devaney, Patterson, rest of the crew. Um, he's time to play then. He's to take it on board and improve. Um, or I'll just waste away and end up going and not being a player. So I don't know what you're talking about, Andy. Do you, I mean, do you well, agree with me? Well, to me, I don't think it can be a, a million miles away from getting a call up. Um, whether it's playing in League One, what's holding him back, I don't know, but it can't be that far away, surely. Mm. But mm. to me, I don't think he's put the foot wrong uh, at all. Uh, and like I said before, I think, I personally think he's been probably best centre half in league. I honestly, do. Yeah. Um, he's so, got yeah, league one side, didn't he? For line up, yeah, league, yeah. League. So, yeah, to me, I don't think he can be a million miles away from getting called up, me, in, at least to get in the squad. Um, but like I said, whether it's because we've been playing in League One that's doing it probably. Mm. Um, but yeah, I hope he does, um, does lad, because he deserves it. He's, he's solid as a rock at back, isn't he? Solid as a rock. So yeah, we want to see Mads Anderson lifting to playoff trophy up in town hall. Uh, I'll be well, it will happen. It's going to be a long, yeah. long. It's going to be a long weekend. It's going to be a nervy re- weekend as you get closer. People are going. Uh, please travel safe. Come back safe. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, do you agree with Andy? Do you agree with uh, with, with James with score predictions and team lineups possibly as well? What do you think about his preparation? What do you think about ticket allocation? You know, remember we're town or the city. I think we're pretty doing pretty well for a population that we've got. Yeah, we'd, I'd love to take 40,000 down all day long, but in realistic terms, you know, have a veer or veer of bats. Uh, but yeah, safe journey down. Uh, Andy and James, thanks for joining me. We've had, had some good talk on that. It's going to be nervy and all that. So I'll let you slope off and get a, a quick beer or something while <laughs> Mrs. are not working. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. Or something stronger, who knows? Double brandy, double whiskey. <laughs> uh, but yeah, people are going down. It's going to be a long, long journey down, but hopefully it's a long journey, but an happier journey coming back. Uh, with bands of being at championship. Safe journey, everybody, safe travels, and all being well. We'll be talking on the next show, Bands of Being at Championship. One thing left to say, you reds. <laughs>